key line plowing, contouring. This is the way that in the future, uh, all farms will look like this, just like Tibet or China, where people have been farming for uh, 40 centuries. You have to level the land out anytime the land is sloped. And I've seen this on my farm. I'll make soils good on a slope, but then it rains and it's just the, the good stuff washes off. You have to level it off. Yeah, so this is a uh, contours. And uh, that way when the water falls, it doesn't just run off the hill, it soaks in. Yeah, and that way the water's preserved and the nutrients and things like that too. So we key line uh, plow our, our hillsides. Uh, and I think Patrick might have one of those, but this is simply a, I take every other tine off of the chisel plow so that they're two feet wide instead of a foot part. And then I just go take a transit and I find the, the contours and then I uh, run that key line along the flags that I've uh, contoured and that just makes little trenches about this deep. And then when the water's coming off the hill, it gets caught in these trenches and wants to run laterally and soaks in rather than all going down to the creek and going down to the Mississippi River. And so this is key line plowing then is, is a terracings are ways to keep water, which is a limited resource on your farm and not falling off of it, yeah. Yeah, so uh, yeah. So the uh, reasons that we till are to uh, re retain moisture, to supply air, and to control weeds. So uh, again, here's my saying, no, till, you all repeat this if you want, no till until you have to till, then till until you can no till. Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. So uh, this is an aerial view of our farm and it gives you kind of an idea of how diversified it is with the forests, uh, fields, pastures. Uh, you can see a pond there and a pond there. And, a bunch of forest and a garden. So it's real diversified, and uh, I think that there's a health in diversity. So, so uh, um, Christina is my marketing manager, uh, and uh, this is uh, my time to tell you these things. So I'm a writer, and I have written a couple of books. You say you read one of these. Mm -hmm. The left one, yeah. yeah. And so the, I'm actually a newspaper columnist, and I've uh, been writing a newspaper column, a weekly column, since uh, 1993. And these are collections of, uh, of, of those. So um, I have some available for sale. And then uh, we, we do make biodynamic preparations, and uh, there's some barrel compost and horn manure in here and I have the compost preparations, and these are things that we make, silicas and, and stuff, and so I'm more than happy to talk about the biodynamic. I know a couple of you all mentioned the word biodynamic, so I'm more than willing to talk about that. Kale seed and compost are things we sell to our neighbors. Yeah, I mean, uh, this, I, I got this lady living with me, living at the farm now that's, you know, <clears throat> I have compost, kale seed, sweet potato plants. I just give these away to all my people to come by. Well, she's making money now by selling all this stuff. <laughs> so I guess that's a good thing. I will go, uh, I, I'll do consulting. I'll go to your, your place and uh, spend some time on your farm talking about uh, hoping to help you uh, not have this, so many problems. Yeah, so I'm willing to do that. Upcoming events. So we have a, uh, uh, every, First Sunday of the month, we have a workshop on the farm uh, from June to or from uh, April to September, and this is just a chance for people to come in April and see what the garden looks like, and then they come back in May and June, and, and they get to kind of watch the garden grow, and it's uh, just an afternoon, Sunday afternoon on the farm type of thing. I'll throw together a little hay ride, and we'll we'll drive around the farm and. And I'll show the gardens that look pretty and not the ones that are all messed up. <laughs> yes, and what else? Uh, yeah, we have uh, hippie music festivals on the farm uh, three times a year for the uh, spring and fall equinox and the summer solstice. Uh, we have a conference the first weekend of October. It's the Southeast annual biodynamic conference. It's been happening for 30-some years on our farm. It's the first weekend of October. I've 
uh, I got tired of preaching to the choir, so I have started a conference in Nashville. Uh, this will be our eighth or ninth one. We call it the Tennessee Local Food Summit. And this is a, we go to very conservative places and talk about local foods and the importance of organics. And so we've been to the Church of Christ University, the Nazarene Church University. We've been to Vanderbilt. Uh, we're at the uh, Montgomery Bell Academy is the High Flute and Boys School. This year we'll be at Harpeth Hall, it's the High Flute and Girls School. And so these are places where it's like Bell Mead and Nashville's got this sort of real rich conservative element in it. And so they love us. They love organic local food. Yeah. And I'm a Republican wannabe. Boy, I just wish I could be a Republican and, and really get to know these people better. <laughs> Can't do it, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's just kind of the, the advertising section of the show here. Go back one slide. Right. So, um, yeah, so just, uh, just realize that whenever we till, we're, we're doing some destructive stuff, so just be real careful, you know, but don't, just because it does do some destructive things, don't get rid of it totally, yeah. Okay, everybody, we're gonna no-till until yeah, it, yeah. you have to till, then till until you can no-till. <laughs> Thank you.